have a cover crop update October 23rd. All right. So this was a bed of dry beans that harvested in August or uh, yeah, late August. And as we harvested the dry beans, I broadcast the cover crop before I harvested and as went through kind of mixed in the cover crop seeds. So this was the um, the late summer autumn mix of oats. So the oats are growing up with the grass mixed with peas, winter pea. So here's the pea mixed with turnips. Here are the turnips or forage, forage turnips, tillage, radish, one of those species. And then the clover growing down on the on the bottom here. You can see the little clovers popping up. So again, it's you know that diversity in plants and species, as well as the diversity in layering, provides different structures that um, really you know promote and increase the the diversity in the soil. So. And what are you have. gonna what are you gonna plant here in the spring? Um not sure, but this will be for early planting because these plants through the hard frost will die and become a mulch. So then in in uh in the spring I'll just be able to pull back pull back that mulch and plant right into the ground. So in here probably plant greens, um turnips most likely. And uh, so that's that and Popping over real quick. Just wanted to show a example of the inner cropped cover crop with the Toscano kale. So this is the kale, and we have a, a nice cover crop of peas and oats and radish coming up underneath, and really providing a, a nice cover. And you can see the clover coming up too um, over the ground and. I think uh, we've had we had a couple hard frosts last weekend, and the kales really pop back. And I, I feel like a lot of that has to do with the the soil and the environment around each plant, kind of. So when was the kale anyway. planted, and when was the cover crop planted? Uh, the kale was planted planted this kale probably in uh, June, and the cover crop was planted in August. So a couple months separate. And that gave the kale enough time to to grow up so that the cover crop wasn't competing for root space or sunlight with the plant. And now they're growing pretty well. Have calendula growing in between, and um, it's a nice example of some cooperative growing plantings. Great, thanks, cool. Doug. You're welcome.